Hi, this is Ali Ty Melamine, Breatharian. And I'm on my way traveling to India, but I'm here in Hong Kong right now. Beautiful place, and I've been here back, uh, I actually been in Hong Kong about 30 years ago when I was in the Navy. And I remember pulling into the Hong Kong Harbor, and I remember seeing Donald Trump's boat on the other side, his big yacht. And it was about as big as our ship that was carrying like 200 and something people. Um, but I never realized that one day, hey, this is going to be, he's going to be the president of the United States of America. That's awesome, ain't it? But here I am in wonderful Hong Kong, has a wonderful culture. But of course, on well, one level is right here next to China where we have the coronavirus that's going around the planet, spreading on the planet right now. Now, that is really something because as this disease is coming out more and more and is coming out of its containment, uh, they even have states of emergency right now going on in the U.S. where coastal cities such as San Francisco, Los Angeles, uh, Florida, that's what I just heard from a friend. But as you can see, it's standing behind me, there's a man with a mask on, but there's whole groups. About 90% of the people here do have masks on protecting themselves. But there's another thing I want to point out to you. Look how empty the airport is. If there's one thing I can say on the bright side, because there's always a bright side to negativity. Uh, the travel is inexpensive now, believe that. <laughs> and also you got a lot of room on the plane. I was sitting on this one uh, passenger plane that's like what the Cadillac of the air or the freight train of the air, I forget what they call them. One of those flight buses. But in the middle seats, there's like five people and one lady was way on one end and I was on the other end and we had all of that space. So one thing I can say about travel, especially coming to the uh, Far East and stuff like this, that tickets, tickets should be cheap and you got a lot of room. So look how empty this airport is and this is Hong Kong's airport. It's usually not seen to be this empty. So you got some places like America Airlines, they wouldn't come here, but I had to catch another uh, airline place that's affiliated with them. But the coronavirus, again, as it's spreading around, uh, every year we do come out with a new virus. And a lot of people who's in the know is associated with the food consumption and stuff like that. And that is not far-fetched. See, when we deal with the food consumption, you're dealing with life forms of bacteria as we're going through this process. And just like anything that evolves or changes, these are living life forms to figure out ways on how to take on different pesticides, take on different poisons so that they can live also. So when they do this, they're taking on this virus so they can try to live for their babies and their families and they start evolving and changing. And most life forms do do that, even humans. So not only we evolve in order to try to stay alive, dealing with the conditions of the atmosphere, also bacteria and different viruses do the same thing. So dealing with our food consumption in the food consumption uh, industry, a lot of people don't know this, especially if it's out of sight, out of mind, you got all types of bacteria and viruses constantly dealing with food production. And one of the biggest ones that people are scared to talk about is the meat industry. Not only the methane gas where you, that's being created, that's putting all the carbon in the air, where you got a lot of uh, cows and other livestock and pigs all together corralled like that. Uh, and that's like little nuclear bombs just going up in the air, uh, really causing a lot of effects. But these viruses that's constantly being made that are fighting for their lives, uh, to stay alive so they're going to keep evolving, keep changing. So it wasn't about, is there going to be a virus that's coming around the planet, you know, that's going to affect people? It isn't about, will that happen or do they need to make that at a laboratory? This, this don't need to be a, a world conspiracy theory. It's going to happen. It's going to happen due to the fact life wants to live. And again, by the way we're doing food, in our food consumption industry, those different viruses and bacteria are going to figure out ways to live, to transform themselves, take over different hosts, no matter what, because they want to live. So right now, even due to our food consumption of the meats, 
In the meat kingdom, that is really something. See, they got on their mask. Say hi. <laughs> uh, so, dealing with the meat industry, we got a big thing now talking about veganism. Veganism has been growing really, really big. And back in the 60s during the hippie movement, that's where vegetarian came on the scene. And it's been on through his battles. You know, people talk about you need, to, you need to eat meat and stuff like this. But now since the memo is getting out and it's spread more and more, you can see the effects that's coming out. We had that H1N1 and all this other stuff. And I could go on and on and on dealing with these different pathogens that's coming from the meat industry. So now, let me tell you something. It's going to keep getting harder and harder. Even if we do contain this one to win this victory over this one, it will happen again in the future due to these organisms wanting to live. They're going to figure out ways there's like a war going on. They're going to figure out ways to want to live, want to take over a host, even if it deals with taking over a human being in order to live. So you would do yourself great justice as we talk about uh, going beyond meat. This is the new series that I'm coming up with soon. Uh, breatharianism and going beyond me because notice I'm a breatharian but what am I talking about food for well if I'm talking about it I'm teaching you how to raise your vibration one vibration you should think about leaving alone is the lowest one possible we're not trying to tell you to stop eating all together but at least leave the lowest one alone because when you deal with these organisms also dealing with the meat industry and you're killing them like that it's doing more to, on a chemical level it's releasing, we're scared to talk about this, entities of a spirit. See, when we look at this epidemic of high blood pressure, liver ailments, strokes, diabetes, all of that is food related, every last one of them. And when your doctor do come at you, the first thing he asks you is, what is you eating? And right now, all doctors and all people on the planet is getting a memo lighten up on the meat or the higher the lower density foods so that you can what feel better combat that disease because that's what it is that got created through the food consumption but let's go back to this entities let's don't look at that as being a spooky word it's a energy that just got released on how that other being's life was done so it ain't like you won against the chicken when you see a group of people with high blood pressure from catering messing with those spirits those energies those energies are fighting back that's why a person ended up with that it ain't give up like that in other words there's a what cause and an effect taking place so those spirits got free reign to take over that host and torment that host and we it's manifested in us with the high blood pressure strokes liver ailments cancer diabetes so this is actually an energetic war, a spiritual war. It's not on a chemical level at all, at, at whatsoever. So when you free yourself up from what? Stop taking part in releasing those spirits along the planet. Because when you look at a, the food industry and see all of those animals locked up, getting their babies taken away, getting raped, those are actually concentration camps. Yes, those animals is crying, they feel pain, and they are releasing spirits into the atmosphere and if you keep catering to those spirits you're going to keep paying for it in a manifestation that we call just health elements because they're running for, through the family no they're not running from the family you are under a generational curse that's why you keep craving it and those spirits keep wanting a host in order to live because they're evolving they're getting stronger oh man are we saying this so the breatharian knowledge again it's telling you to eat very little or not at all so that you don't have to what? Take part in releasing and dealing with those types of ent entities, those spirits that's plaguing the place. And here I am, about 90% of the people here, and I know that this airport is mostly empty. 90% of them got on masks on their face to try to keep that uh, energy down, that frequency again. So when we look at death itself, even a sickness or whatever, it's on a what? We keep talking about raising your vibration. That means that the vibration got lowered due to messing with these entities again. 
and they are taking over the host, which is people's bodies on many different levels, whether it be energetically, that's why you keep craving the meat, don't know why and stuff like this. They're talking in your voice, they're pulling at you in order to stay alive. They're attacking you on a chemical level. That's where you start manifesting these different diseases. And it's also attacking you on a, 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 a harder physical level because you start blowing up in obesity. You start running out of energy. You can't do much like you did before. So this is a whole thing that's taking place, messing with these energies, dealing with these animals like this. Now, of course, I know somebody going to say, well, plants is life too, but we have to take it one step at a time because we as humans are evolving too. That's why the breath of knowledge is out now. It's not going away no time soon, and it ain't got nothing to do with your belief system. This is a science, and just like the energy of the planet as is increasing energetically, the knowledge is increasing, and some humans are going to get the memo, and they're going to be food free. You understand? They're getting it more and more. They're going to live long, longevity, good health, because they picked up another frequency. And those other spirits is being let loose through these things like the coronavirus and everything. They won't have no hold on you whatsoever. Now, notice how I ain't got no mask on. Don't need one, because it only attacks a weak immune system, and I'm not catering to those entities. That's what it is. It's an entity. Oh, man, did I say that? So again, we are coming out with the series soon, dealing with Beyond Meat. See, we don't expect the whole world to be food free and be a breatharian, but we do expect the whole world not to never eat meat again, the whole world. We're going there. So we're going full go. We hope you support this message. I'm here in Hong Kong and I'll be in India soon. I'm on my way. And when we go to India, we blowing up. A billion people, that's all the platform I needed. We're going from one end to another, tearing it up. And I'm straight going, going there. We're going to talk about core health. We're going to talk about these energies, these frequencies. We're going to be working with people both day and night, all over the place. The retreat never ends. We're fired up for this. We're changing the world. We're doing it. And we're going to do it. This is what it's all about. So keep up the good work. We love you. Talk to you soon. And like I said, you see the people with the mask on all over the place. You got a mask. He got a mask. The lady right there got a mask on. All over the place. Serious frequency that's out there. And these are nothing but entities on a higher energetic level for those who understand. Talk to you soon.